brothers. Prototype commanders in the emerging field of psychic warfare. Like a curse. Bound by blood. What's going on, everybody? And welcome to part two of my playthrough, my blind playthrough for Fear Two, Fear Three. Ah, oh, man, I'm so used to saying Fear Two, Fear Three. Ah, I still can't hit me. It's actually here. Push me, beating pushed back five times. Yeah, it's uh, that's something. But anyways, it's here now. And we already in the last episode, we someone's talking. We uh broke out with a brother, and are just kicking ass in some prison. We don't really know where we are now. He told me to keep my flashlight off. Screw you. I'm the older brother. I think I'm the older brother. What's up, guys? Maybe it's, like, so dark that they can't see me. No? I'm sure they can see the muzzle flash from the gun. Can we, like, jump to the cover? Kinda. Oh! He rolled! I don't get to roll. Oh, he's got a shotgun. I'll reload. Get back health. Slow-mo. Oh, jeez. Get out of the cover. I feel like that's gonna be a problem, like, being in cover and then having a grenade thrown at you. No, stay in cover. It's a little bit delayed to hit the cover button, like you don't quite go into it. Yeah, I don't know what difficulty I'm on. I'm probably on, like, hard. Oh, get in cover! But, uh... I fear 2 and 1 were not this hard. They were actually pushovers, so maybe this is a bit more challenging. I am out of ammo completely. Alright. Low ammo. Alright, here we go. We have to get close. That guy had a shotgun. I should have picked it up. Yeah, suppress this. Where'd he go? I can't see him. Fuck it. Fuck it. Get the shotgun. Oh, you can only carry two weapons, man. Oh, the shotgun's beast, though. Alright. I'd want to get the other thing back. Otherwise, I'm going to get close here. I don't know what difficulty I'm on, but it's... I'm just going to stick with it, unless it gets ridiculous, and I might change it. Obviously, this isn't a perfect run. I'm going to have to emphasize it probably once every video that this is blind. Don't condone me not knowing about something. Because I got the game 20 minutes ago. Die! Yeah, dude. Switch for that. Thank you. Did my other one have a sight on it? Yeah, it did. Oh, oh, not that. Do not kill me. Too many times those things have killed me. Oh, crap! Yeah, and you're gonna see a lot of that. I did that even when I knew how to play the game of Fear 2. You think they wouldn't be able to see me quite as good? Oh, no! Oh, God! I need to go back for the shotgun. Okay. Wow. I like it. I like the challenge, though. Like, in Fear 1, it was like, you could hold, like, 300 rounds and, like, three different weapons, plus you could do a wheel a set of weapons at the same time. A little too easy. Sometimes, you know, it's nice, you feel, like, powerful, but you don't want to feel too powerful, otherwise, even on the harder difficulties, it's a breeze. Take cover. Alright, what do I got? One shot left? Two shots, maybe. Two shots. Yeah, I see it now. Oh, god damn. Yeah, what's up, dude? Please have ammo. Oh, yes, he had something. This is crazy, because I can barely see. I'm thinking about bumping the brightness up for the next episode, but at the same time, you know, I really don't want to, just because the horror factor. I can't wait to play this at night, honestly. Uh, it's, I love this cover system. I really do. It's, like, better than Gears. It's, I mean, it's going to take some adjustment, but uh, once I get the hang of it, I think I'm going to really like it. Hold on a second. Yeah, and you can't, you can't like, abuse slow-mo like you could in the first fear, either. Which, obviously, they'd want to make some adjustments. Is that my blood? No one makes Point Man bleed his own blood. I really could use some more ammo, though. I probably missed, like, an, like an armory where I could have gotten, like, a rocket launcher for beginners and stuff, and I just completely missed it. It was like, go this way for the armory. And I was, like, talking. No! What is this, Call of Duty? Okay, obviously you can't hide and cover for too long, so I'm going to have to rush these guys. It's not a sit-back strategy game. Reload. That's a weird shotgun, but kind of cool at the same time. Alright, rushing him. Yeah, you don't get a lot of time in that slow-mo. Man, in Fear 1, you had time to, like, run a football field twice. Alright, he had ammo. Turning around. Just gonna keep getting close to these guys. What's up, dude? 
Yeah, dude, this thing is range. Like, you barely need to get close. And I have a thing with shotguns and shooters. I think it's ever been since, like, Halo, where I, like, just hated shotguns and shooters, and even in, like, Call of Duty or any game that had a shotgun, really, except Bioshock and Fear. I don't know. I really dig the shotguns, like, offline and online. Ooh, what is that? Um, we can't pick it up. Well, I can hear people. Oh, boy. What is... Particle Link? I... That must be something good. I'm still learning. Like I always say. Whoa, 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 whoa! That... That's nothing, is it? I thought that was gonna explode or something. Where... Oh, it's people in jail cells throwing stuff. Ah, oh, shut up. I should toss a grenade on them. Do I need to even be over here? Probably do. The killer. I like these little medals I'm getting in-game. Because I know it's kind of like a scoring game. Which is a nice element they added. I hope it doesn't take away... That's the other thing I was concerned about. Fear 1 and 2 were... Okay, Fear 1 was scary. Like in a jump out at you and grab you kind of way. Fear 2 was scary in a what the fuck was that kind of way. I'm hoping this will be one or the other or a combination of both. At, at As this stands, even though we're only, you know, 20 minutes into the game. 20 minutes by my standards. <laughs> we, uh... Haven't really done anything unnormally scary yet. Where am I going? I hope to not cut stuff out, but at the same time, I don't want to walk around in circles forever, which is what I'm doing right now. And yeah, even though I don't have a time limit or anything, because I'm special, I, uh, I'm going to keep these episodes probably somewhere between 10 to 13 minutes. That sounds good. Oh my god. See, this is why I usually... I can, like, blow through, like, the hardest stuff. Like, people are like, man, I need a guide for this. And I'm like, pfft, I don't need a guide. And then it's, like, something simple that anyone can do, and I can't do it. I'm funny like that. Uh, hua, nope. Pull this. Oh, is this the alarm or the gates? Cool. This prison kind of reminds me of the hospital level. Whoa, in, uh, Fear 2, we were there for a little too long, so hopefully we're not going to be here for too long. You know, kind of like the tutorial level, but you don't want the tutorial level to be too, too long. Alright, where are all these guys? I like how I can't really snipe with this submachine gun. Like, the Fear 2... Actually, the Fear 1, that assault rifle. That... Whoa! Yeah, guys with shotguns. They are the... I think they are the deadlies. Either guys with shotguns or guys who can spam grenades. One of the two. Make it the... Are, like, the deadliest AI, regardless of what difficulty you're on. Because guy with shotguns, just like, poo, one hit, you're done. And guys with grenades, well, you know. These guys are actually, like, talking to each other. In Fear 1, they were just kind of like, Bruh! and then ran at you. Like, you guys aren't a SWAT team. Oh, I thought that was a person. Right, turn off slow-mo. I'm probably going to miss, like, a booster or something. I wonder if they still have boosters, like reflex boosters and health boosters. Actually, there's no health. I just noticed that there's no real health system. Fear 2 and Fear 1 both had health systems on the screen. This is more like, uh... Call of Duty, where it's like you get hit and you got red, and then. Oh god. What does every prisoner have a can? Like, I see cans all over the place. What is that? Pistol? That's not helpful. Get your fucking hands down. I can kind of hear the AI in the back. I don't really want to blast the volume in. Oh god. I could play the volume through my headset, but I don't really feel like it. Maybe I will later. Whoa! See what I mean? Guys with shotguns. Why did I punch him? Shouldn't I have knifed him? Oh, I did knife him. I couldn't see the knife in the dark. Alright. Looks like I got concussion grenades there. I wonder if they still have, like, flame grenades and, like, electric grenades. I probably need to go down there, but I don't really want to. Let's jump in on them. Can we jump this? Yeah! Just run. Forget about it. Whoa! Guys with shotguns again. What am I saying? Though, look at that detail. That is... I mean, slow-mo used to be, like... I mean, if you've ever done, like, video editing and you've tried to do slow-mo stuff so, and you, like, just, you know, extend the clip so it's moving in slower frames per second, like, more frames per second, you'll realize, like, this doesn't look good, like, in the movies when they have action slow-mo. Like, getting slow-mo to work, especially in a game like this, isn't very easy. And don't expect me to be the kind of person who kind of, like, screams randomly, like, oh my god. Nah, I'm not a girl. Or a scary guy. Or a scary guy. I am a scary guy. Like, an easily scared person. The only game that ever really made me jump, like, when I played it, was Bioshock in the first ten seconds. If anyone's played it, you'll know what I mean. And, uh, Dead Space. And granted, Resident Evil was kind of scary. But again, Resident Evil is actually kind of like a... 
Similar, actually, this game is pretty similar to Resident Evil. Like, the newer ones, I mean, except... It's like, this game is kind of like a combination between Resident Evil and, uh, a shooter like Call of Duty. That's what it feels like. It's got, like, the elements of shooters of this, but it's got, like, the horror of Resident Evil. That's what it feels like. Shouldn't there be something here to pull? No, I just absorbed the guy. Who am I? I think I am point... I have to be point man, because last time I checked, Fettel can't move at super fast speeds. I can't open that? I can't break it down? And I feel like I should be able to go behind there, but obviously not. Spooky door in the background. Oh, okay. I should have kicked that door in, I'm sorry. I apologize. For any door I don't kick in, like, I apologize. Because <laughs> I just should, you know what I mean? You just should. Let's switch to my shotgun. I keep pressing left uh, on the... right on the D-pad, because that's what I'm used to doing to switch weapons. I think that should be an alternative, like in Fear 2. Oh, man, he blew up good. In Fear 2, you could, uh... You could switch weapons with uh, the bumper, or you could use it through the D-pad. Or you could hold the bumper. Can I do that? No, that doesn't work. Maybe only because I have two weapons, and in Fear 3, you could have up to three. You could have up to three, couldn't you? I mean, Fear 2, you could have up to three. Whoa! You got nothing, buddy. Oh, I thought there was going to be a door there. Can we jump over this? Nice! I hate it when games have, like, two-foot fences that you can't jump over. You're like, dude, like, why on earth do I need to go around this? I think they're talking about me, but I can't tell. I'm still waiting for Owen to pop out. Even though... I don't know, it's like... I'm still wondering, I'm still wondering, as I play the game right now, how they're going to make this game scary. Contact right. I'm going left, man, but, you know, you, you go ahead and call it what you want to your team. Alright. Uh, switch weapons. Reload. Running. Slow-mo. What's up, guys? Nice! I don't know if I did that, but if I did, I am so good at this game. Alright. Anyone else? No? Nobody else? Come on, step right up. Anybody. You? You want to step up? That's fine. We're taking all submissions at the moment. I'll knife you, and I'll knife you. That was nice. I guess if you aim for the head, you're alright. Dark in front. Yeah. Do you really need to tell anyone that? Like, it's in front of us, guys. You're going to wish I was anywhere but. And I'm talking crap as I'm getting my ass kicked. They are actually kind of hard to see, but look at the lighting. I just... Out of all the fears, it's something I always made a note when I played the game. The lighting is so good in this game. It's just, it's perfect. A lot of horror games don't have good lighting. It's like an easy mistake a horror game can make, like not to have the right kind of lighting. And then it's just a little thing, but it throws it off. Behind cover. Yeah, just just jump behind cover, guys. I'll just throw grenades. <laughs> Counter spam. The way of the future. And they keep shouting out what they're doing to me, so I actually know what's going on here. In the other game, it was better. Like, they, they didn't shout, and I never knew where they were. But now that they're shouting, I know exactly where they are. Yep. I probably shouldn't turn on my light, but I really feel like it. Because, as much as, like, you know, game-wise, I probably wouldn't turn on my light, but video-wise, like, when I'm actually showing off a video, I like to make it visible so you can see stuff like that. Alright. Actually, only like, I know it's a little early to say it, but I think I like the controls here. They feel, if you've played Fear 1 or Fear 2 and you're asking, like, what do they feel like? Like, what does this game feel like? It feels like Fear 2. Don't let him through. Yeah, good luck, guys. Oh, the guy's got a shotgun. I was going to blow through him, but I should have been smarter. Alright, flashlight off. Flashlight on. Flashlight on! I said, man, maybe you can't turn on your flashlight when you're on slow mo! Oh god! Okay, a little tense here, a little tense. We're making a pretty good escape though, like, where is Fettel? <laughs> Shouldn't he be helping us? Uh, I, w I can't wait, like, I think I will try to do a co-op playthrough with one of my friends here if he gets the game. John, if you're watching this, that means you. <laughs> and you really should, man, look at this. This is amazing, John. I know you're watching this right now. And you're like, oh my god, I wish I got this game. And I'm like, I know, dude, you should. And I'm like, I'm so cool that I will actually, like, send you a penny to help towards getting this game. I wonder how I use concussion grenades. I wonder if I can switch through that. Alright, switch weapons. Suppressing fire won't save you now. Oh, what? There's a gate behind the gate? Oh, what? Oh, it opened that side. I thought it was like, you open one gate just to find another gate. Like, what's behind the curtain? Another curtain. 
Oh, jeez. Get down in cover. Get down in cover. It's a little delayed. Like, I hit the cover button, it doesn't happen, then I hit it again, then I go into it and I get out. So I guess I would advise, be patient. Patience is a virtue, unless your name is Lincoln. Tyler, if you're watching, I'm sure you get that. Oh, God, no, why? Alright, we're in the midst of a bunch of crap here. I'm going to try to run back to the other room. Suppressive fire! Suppressive fire grenade! Alright, I think we're going to end it off here as we're uh, in the middle of an intense firefight. So I thank you guys for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, let me know. And until next time, I'll catch you guys later.